There's another investigation going on. This one has police trying to find the rightful owner of something quite special. If you've been in the military, chances are you've saved something from your time serving our country. LDS 18's Austin Pollock tells us about what was found in the flood and the mission to return it. You never know what you might find off the beaten path. Just outside of hazard, debris is still piled up, stuck in trees. Belongings once in a home, now without a home, resting on the bank of Troublesome Creek. Well, it, it was brought in from the floodwater, so yeah. First time we're laying eyes on it, just checking it out. This military uniform was found in that area. Torn, ripped, clearly had gone through something. It's safe now, but troopers and military members have a task on their hands. Whoever the jacket belongs to, it obviously means a great deal to them, and they want to preserve it. Trooper Matt Gayhart says a fellow trooper found it in the water with a life jacket stuffed inside. They may have stuck it in there right before they evacuated, or it may have been stuffed in there uh, previously. We just, we don't know. Turns out there's a lot nobody really knows with this mystery offering few clues. We don't really know where to start, uh, so we're just doing the best we can to to try to track down those owners. Man, that could be the name right yeah. there. We asked Sergeant First Class Randy Parton to take a look and see if anything stands out that might provide more answers. Uh, you can see whoever this jacket belonged to. It's a Class A green top. Uh, they were an E6 in rank. Looks like it has the 100th Training Division patch on it. We looked on the inside, and there's a tag um, on the inside with the last name Seraphin. It, it looks like a last name, something they've stapled on the inside and has a last four on the back as well. Someone was proud of their service or their loved one's service. So much so, they've kept this as a memory of the ultimate sacrifice. This uniform is safe, but not in the same loving home it once likely was. A brave American, friend or family is missing this treasured heirloom with few ways to trace it back. In Perry County, Austin Pollock, LEX 18 News.